Next! Here we go. We have Grow Farmers Creamy Keys. 24%. It's from Safricana, South African. Obviously imported by uh, IPS, but... Uh, yeah, the expiry date is the 31st of March next year. The batch number is 20... Oh, come on, I can't even read that. 240205. I first started with the Grow range, with Grow Pharma. Uh, it's the cheapest available and it was what they were recommending. And I think my report at the time to friends was it's got the THC level, but it was empty. It's just dead, terpene-wise, and just empty. It's a really hollow high. Um, and I know from my own experience of actually being able to press rosin into pure crystal THCA, uh, it's completely white, I had a day using that, and it's horrible. It's really unpleasant. It's the terpenes. The terpenes make all the difference. The terpenes mean everything. And certainly seeing as this is medicine, this should have the terpenes in it. The terpenes are the thing that gives us the the entourage effect. I don't mean that shitty program that was out of years ago. I don't mean Marky Mark, but the entourage effect of all the different, different terpenes working together to give you the combined effect with the THC, the medical benefits that we actually get from it. It's not just the THC. We've all kind of got, uh, we're kind of behind the States and Canada and other places on this in that we all seem to just think about THC quite a lot and the THC content and it's here, THC content. There's no other cannabinoids listed and there's a whole range of cannabinoids that we should be testing for on these packets, that we should be getting the readout from and that we should know about. But I guess all that's legally mandated is those ones. They don't tell the whole story by any means. I mean, it's, it's amazing Medbud's there. You can see the percentages of terpenes that are there, but you can't see the terpene level within the flower itself. This is all you get. So 100%, so say if it's 50% myrcene, something like that. Well, that's great, but you don't know what 100% of cannabinoids are in this. So that 50% could be a minuscule fraction of the terpenes that you should actually be getting from cannabis from a well-grown, particularly organic, I've got to stress that, a thick flavour coating your mouth from organically well-grown cannabis is insane compared to what we get uh, medically. The first company that I see giving us actual proper readouts of what the rest of the chemical makeup of this is, go with them. Go with them, because they'll actually know what they're doing. And if they grow it organically, you'll be able to tell. The difference in levels will be so clear. Let's start with this, because it's only £5.50 a gram. £5.50 a gram. I'll say that again. £5.50 a gram. Now, just because it's that price, doesn't mean we shouldn't be having the terpene levels that give us the effects that we need medically. That we can appreciate medically and we deserve medically. So, should we get this open? Oh, first thing, have you noticed? It's a much smaller bag. Much, much smaller bag. It feels uh, there's way less wasted space in this. I don't know if they've listened to anyone else's complaining, but this is how it should be if you're using bags. They're seen as disposable. Most people will be throwing them away. Could really do with getting on the case with biodegradable bags in some way as well, but can't have everything. Where would you put it? Let's go first impressions. Wafty, wafty smell. Now I can tell you it feels outside the bag. It doesn't feel too crispy. That's one thing I noticed, but that could be a mirage. All right, so there's... There's very little smell coming out of it. What there is is a bit kind of old school brickweed. Yeah, there's not much smell in there at all. What is it? Creamy keys. It does have a... It does have a slightly doughy smell, I guess, though. But yeah, there's very little overpowering from that. I don't know if I'd even... I mean, I'm smell blind. I don't even know if I'd notice that was open in a room. Let me give you my first impressions. So that looks kind of mechanically trimmed. It's I've got a lot of the calyxes are ripped in half. It's very solid and it doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look old. It doesn't look worn out. No leaf on it because it's so closely trimmed. We'll pause there. I'm going to come back with the video that shows the bud off. <laughs> 